What is AI-generated art and how do the programs that make this art work? Today we're going to take a look at one of the hottest topics in the art world today. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan Reinheimer and I'm an artist. My channel here is a mix of helpful videos for artists and videos about my travels both to create and sell my artwork. If you're alive, chances are you've heard a lot about artificial intelligence being able to generate art lately. These software programs are able to generate images of just about anything, all by having a user type in a couple of words into a prompt. But how do these programs learn to generate images from just a few words? AI art programs use complex algorithms and machine learning techniques to generate visual art. These programs are typically designed to analyze patterns and features in existing images and then use that information to create new images combining different styles and themes. One of the most common techniques used by AI art programs is something called neural style transfer. This involves analyzing a source image and a style image and then using that information to create a new image that combines patterns and features found from both images. AI art programs can also use something called Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs, to generate images. GANs involve two different neural networks that work together to create images. One network generates images while the other network works to identify whether those images are real or fake. Over time, the two networks learn from each other and become better at generating realistic images. AI art programs learn through a trial and error process. If the image they generate is successful, they'll use that information as a reference for future images. This means that AI programs can create new images based on a specific style or theme such as a particular artist's style, a specific type or object, or a specific color scheme. Basically, AI art programs are fed tons of images by programmers that it then analyzes and learns to imitate what it has seen when given a prompt by a user. But where do these programmers get their images that they use for this machine learning? This has been the source of a lot of controversy lately. Many AI art programs have not been transparent with the source of their images, or they've just scraped the internet for images. And this has led many artists to accuse these AI art programs of stealing. These AI art programs look at these images that were input into them in order to learn how to create. It's kind of similar to how a human might learn to draw something like a panda bear. Most people have never seen a panda in real life. But we pretty much all know what a panda is and can attempt drawing one based on our memory of images of pandas that we've seen in the past. However, you probably wouldn't consider looking at images of pandas in order to learn how to draw one stealing, would you? But when it comes to AI, the concept of stealing feels very different, right? I was recently invited to test an early beta version of Adobe Firefly, Adobe's new AI art generator. So of course, I asked it to generate an image of a surfing panda flying a kite with an elephant on it. And it came out a little wonky looking, and for some reason, there's an elephant that's just floating up in the sky by itself. But I'm sure in time this is going to get better, and it was pretty fun to play with and pretty amazing what it can do just by having a few words typed into it. There's also going to be a lot of other features in Firefly, other than the art generator, that will be useful for photographers like myself that weren't available yet in the version I used. Adobe was also very transparent in how they developed the AI art generator in Firefly, and stated that they only used images that they had permission to use in this way, or images that were in the public domain. And that seems a lot more ethical than a lot of other AI art generators who have not been so transparent with the source of the images that they use in their machine learning. The debate over AI art generators stealing images has become a major source of controversy in the art world recently. I took a long look at both sides of the debate and found that AI may not just be stealing images, but actually taking money from real working artists in this video that you should go watch right now. 